I'm here at the Natural History Museum of Utah in the Land Gallery. Behind me is a model of the Earth. All of the lines represent plate boundaries, but Utah is not on a boundary. So why do we have earthquakes here in Utah? Earthquakes occur below the surface of the Earth, between two solid blocks of rock that slip past each other. Where the earthquake occurs is called a fault. Here in Salt Lake, we are at the eastern edge of what is called the Basin and Range Province. This is an area of Western North America where the surface of the Earth has been extending over the last 17 million years. Earthquakes have a lot to do with forming the valley that we live in. Rocks that make up the Wasatch Mountains have been uplifted six to seven miles from below the Earth's surface over millions of years. Each earthquake uplifts the mountains and down drops the Salt Lake Valley. The uplifting happens during earthquakes on the Wasatch Fault or other local faults. The Wasatch Fault is the longest fault in Utah, but there are many other regional faults. Many of these faults west of the Wasatch Mountains are associated with the extending crust of the Basin and Range Province. On the morning of March 18th, 2020, the Salt Lake Valley in Utah experienced a magnitude 5.7 earthquake. The energy released was the shaking we all experienced. Earthquake energy radiated out in waves like a pebble being dropped into a pond. The magna earthquake was felt even here at the Natural History Museum of Utah. You can see the Lythronax bobbing its head as the earthquake waves move through the museum building. Hundreds of thousands of people felt the magna earthquake. When you visit the Natural History Museum of Utah, you can see how a seismometer detects the wave of energy released by your jump. Pretty cool. We live in earthquake country, so we have to figure out how to best live on shaky ground. When the earth shakes, buildings must be able to flex and move with the ground movement. When you visit the museum, you can build a structure on the shake table and test it against some of the largest earthquakes the earth has ever seen. Scientists cannot predict earthquakes. We use information from studying geology to understand where ancient earthquakes occurred, and we can use scientific devices called seismometers to measure very small and very big earthquakes and learn about earthquakes as they happen. So remember, if you feel shaking, drop, cover, and hold on. Or if you're in a wheelchair, lock, cover, and hold on. <laughs>